Hey everybody, Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com and welcome to the next video where I'm going to show you how to plan and crush your summer hockey training. So let's get started. If you're not aware, summer is the time when hockey players can transform themselves into a completely different player. From becoming stronger, faster, more powerful, and also from a skill acquisition perspective. But before any earth-shattering gains can happen, you have to understand the process which needs to be followed in order to achieve massive results. This is the exact formula I've been using for over three decades to best prepare to accomplish pretty much anything you want in life. If you follow these simple steps, your potential now becomes limitless. Let me repeat that. If you follow these simple steps, your potential now becomes limitless. It's like all of a sudden you have a superpower. And the best part, it doesn't take a ton of time to make noticeable forward progress on whatever it is you're chasing. Follow this time-tested method and start accomplishing exactly what you want in hockey today. Step one, the goal. Define what you want. This first step is an important one and the most fun as you get to define exactly what you want. Shoot for the moon here as you're writing the script on how you want your life to be and what you'll be doing in it. There are two types of goals or objectives, short-term goals and long-term ones. View a long-term goal as your end destination, like earning a college scholarship, playing in the Olympics, or making it to the NHL. Long-term goals take a considerable amount of time to achieve, in most cases close to two decades. But don't get scared by how long it may take to get what you want. What you're doing here is creating your future self. You don't have to know how you're going to get there at this point. You just have to create your journey's end. Step two, write it down. Once you've identified exactly what it is you're pursuing now, you next must write it down as big as possible. I'm serious here. Get a piece of paper and write down your objective down to the most minute detail. A study concluded that people who write down their goals are 42% more likely to achieve them. That's something I'd take advantage of for sure, so write it down. This is super important. Once you've written down your goal, you need to put it somewhere where you can see it every day like on your bathroom mirror or next to your bed. This will be your daily visual reminder of what it is you're chasing. This helps maintain focus on the goal. Ask yourself every night before you go to bed, did I get a little closer to my objective today? When you write goals down, see them every day, your dream now becomes real and your race to achieving it begins. Step three, deconstruct the goal. When you look at long-term goals, it's understandable how you may feel intimidated by how long it may take to achieve or how much work is required to attain the objective. I know I felt that way on several occasions throughout the years until I learned this important step on how to deconstruct the goal. In a nutshell, it basically means that you're going to break down the long-term goal into smaller, more easily digestible parts, known as short-term goals. A short-term goal is a period of time dedicated to getting a little closer to your long-term objective. In order to reach your long-term goal, you have to understand that the journey is made up of hundreds of short-term milestones. For this video, let's pretend that you are someone who wants to advance your ability to handle and shoot the puck prior to the start of next season. Last year, you scored three goals and had four assists. For next season, you've set the objective of scoring 10 goals and 10 assists. This is a realistic objective and 100% doable, but what needs to take place in order to give yourself the best opportunity to reach your short-term goal? Ask yourself the following questions. What timetable are you working with? For this example, we'll use the summer off season, which is eight to 12 weeks before most winter teams start up again. What will you be doing different from previous years? Never before have you consistently worked off ice practicing stick handling and shooting at home. This is your major addition you're adding to your summer training regimen. What tools do I need? In order to be able to start training off ice, you'll need a space at home in your garage basement or backyard that has a net or a shooting tarp, some flooring, or you'll wreck the bottom of your stick blade if doing your hockey training on concrete or asphalt, some pucks, and whatever training aids you think you'd benefit from using. If you need help with this, Coach has got you covered. Just head on over to my friends at snipersedgehockey.com for any of your off-ice stick handling and shooting training aid needs. Enter Coach Lance as the coupon code and receive 15% off your entire order. How sweet is that? Step four, map it out, beginning to end. For this final step, it's time to lay out your plan of execution. Begin by printing off each monthly calendar for the window of time you have to work with. 
from now until the start of your winter season is roughly three months, July through September. So you'll need to print off a sheet for July, August, and September. Next, you'll need to have a conversation with your parents, bringing them up to speed on what it is you're doing and find out when you'll be out of town for family obligations like going to grandma's cabin or uncle Mike's wedding. The information you're gathering provides the days you won't be able to train, so cross those days off. Now you have to determine how much time per week you're going to set aside to invest in yourself and get a little closer to accomplishing your goal. In all the years that I've been working with players just like you or your son or daughter, I've always recommended training three to five hours per week doing off by stick handling and shooting. Once you determine how many hours you're going to invest in yourself, then it's time to plug in your training dates on the calendar for each week. A lot of you may be saying, three to five hours of off by stick handling and shooting training? No way, that's too much, I can't do that. And what I say is, yes you can. Remember, it's not three to five hours in a row. The hours are spread out over the course of the week. If you really want something special to happen to you, you have to be willing to give something up in return, like gaming for an hour a day. Or better yet, why don't you make a deal with yourself that the only times you can play video games for the summer are on the days that you complete your off by stick handling and shooting training. It's a little reward for yourself after you put the work in. Remember that anything, and I mean anything worth accomplishing, requires the person to have a clearly defined objective. And that objective needs to be cultivated by you, by regularly spending time working at closing the gap and getting a little closer to your final prize. Nobody is gonna put the work in for you. There is no elevator to your goal. You have to take the stairs. Before I let you go, I want you to take a moment and close your eyes and imagine looking at your calendars at the end of this two to three month sprint, having completed all of your training dates you set out to achieve. Do you feel powerful, excited, proud? Are you scared of tryouts or are now chomping at the bit because people soon are gonna be able to see the new you? If that's what you want, follow this winning formula, put the work in, execute your plan, and your dreams will become your reality. Lastly, if you look at how many hours of off ice stick handling and shooting training you'll be doing, somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 50 hours, you're gonna figure out pretty quickly how many drills you have to practice. That's where coach can help. You see, I'm an off ice stick handling and shooting specialist here in Minnesota, and have been training players just like you or your son or daughter for close to 15 years now. During this time, I've created the world's largest database of off by stick handling and shooting drills that players can tap into and uncover a skill acquisition treasure chest that will guide you step by step to stick handling and shooting wizardry. What I don't have is a magic bottle of sprinkles that I can shower you with and instantly give you sick mitts. But what I can offer is a hockey training path that has been followed by thousands of players before you. Let me show you how much you don't know about off ice stick handling and shooting, but more importantly, how much you could be learning and improving upon if you just did one simple thing. You started. If you see the word office, what thoughts come to mind? A dedicated place where people go to plan, work, and accomplish things. Very good. Sounds like a positive environment people go to in order to get things done, and if carried out consistently on a weekly basis, personal growth and success will soon follow. The secret office that holds the key to your hockey future and success is right in front of you. It's off ice, at home in your garage, basement, or backyard. This is where you get the extra stick handling and shooting reps, and you do this by investing in yourself and putting in the work. This is your goal, your dream, and nobody is gonna inch you a little closer to that objective each week but you. You don't put the work in today, you don't get any closer to what you want tomorrow. Become a member today at OnlineHockeyTraining.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.